Hello, it is Ryan, and I was on a flight the other day playing one of my favorite social spin slot games on chumbacasino.com. I looked over the person sitting next to me, and you know what they were doing? They were also playing Chumba Casino. Coincidence? I think not. Everybody's loving having fun with it. Chumba Casino is home to hundreds of casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere, even at 30,000 feet. So sign up now at chumbacasino.com to claim your free welcome bonus. That's chumbacasino.com and live the Chumba life. No purchase necessary. DTW, avoid were prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18 plus. Lucky Land Casino asking people what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car before my kid's PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. It's Tokyo time, and Anything But Footy brings you the views of the athletes in action just before their event. Kadena Cox tells us she made history in Rio, and once again she's going over two sports in one games. Cycling first, then athletics. I'll be doing track cycling, um, I'll be doing the 500 metre time trial, and then the mixed team sprint, um, and I'm also doing athletics, so I'll be doing the 400 metres in that as well. So this time round, uh, the mixed team sprint and the 100 metres actually clash. Um, so I had to make a decision on which one I was going to do. So, yeah, unfortunately, I've not been able to go back in for the four medals that I wanted. Um, but it's just, yeah, it's the way it is. Like, it's my fault choosing two sports, I guess. And you made history, of course, in Rio. I think the first time since 1984, where we won two golds in, in different sports. Is that something that, that you think about, Kadena? Yeah, you know, I, I think I think about it more now than I did then. At the time, I was just like, I just want to do two sports. Like, <laughs> that's it. I wasn't thinking about history. I didn't even know it was history until, you know, somebody said to me, like, you've just set history. Like, I'm, I'm getting all these messages about, you know, setting history. Um, but like now, like, you know, I, I had thought about, you know, doing the double-double and, you know, yeah, being able to make history there. Um, where. Whereas before, I was just like, oh, I just want to ride and run, you know? Um, but yeah, you know, it's something that I, I'm quite proud of um, and something that uh, was a great achievement. Like, I know it was a great achievement because it's been hard to try, you know, get to the place where I can do it again. So um, I'm really proud of myself for being able to achieve that. And, you know, if I never do it again, I achieve something really special in 2016. And um, yeah, I can, you know, live knowing that I did that. But uh, hopefully this Games is going to be just as good. Can I ask you about something else that happened in the Olympics? And that was Simone Biles starting a competition and then deciding, look, I can't carry on with this. Do you think in a way by Simone doing that and saying what she said, she made a bigger statement to the world than if she'd won every medal going? Most definitely. I think there's this expectation on athletes that, you know, we just go and we just churn out medals. Um, and I think that expectations so high on Simone you know everyone's just like you know Simone goes and wins the gold you know Simone does something different like Simone's just unreal like no one can beat her um and they forget that she's human um I think I think that's the issue like people think you know athletes that like they're we're just robots um and they forget that there's a human side of us and you know we 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 can have you know struggle with mental health issues you know we we can struggle you know with physical injuries and you know it's not always going to go well um and I think she did make a statement and I think it's nice to see you know I struggled with my own mental health issues and how to take time out of sport um and you know I got a lot of people you know messaging me saying you know that that was you know great and you know I've struggled with the same thing and it it speaks to the athletes um and you know that they, they feel like they can speak out and, and they can you know take a step back and really look after themselves um they are more than just the athletes but I think it then yeah just opens the eyes of the general public that just see us as gold medals you know like they just see us as medalists and forget that there is more to us than that. And, you know, all that pressure and, you know, just that expectation can be tough. Um, and I think it's just that realisation for the fans. Um, so I think it's great that she did 
just take a step back and did what was right for her. Because a lot of the time within sport, we forget about ourselves as well because we, we want to please the fans. So we want to go out there and, and do, you know, whatever the fans want us to do because we want them to be happy. And we forget that we as individuals need to think about ourselves and our own health because there is life after sport and we want to be, you know, in the best place after sport. And you've spoken very honestly, very openly before about your mental health struggles. How are you then at the moment? Yeah, um, I think I've done a great job with my um, my psychiatrist, um, psychiatrist Alan, you know, my psychologist Lara, my nutritionist Laura, and there's a whole host of people that, you know, come into this like little bubble um, that have helped me get to a place where I'm, I was really content, you know, coming into our holding camp, um, feeling really confident and really happy, you know, being in a place that I've not been in for, you know, six plus years. Um, and it's meant that even though, you know, the pressure of, you know, getting into the holding camp, you know, being really close to a game, that kind of normally shakes me. And, and I'll be honest, you know, even when you do have, like, if you are in recovery, like there are times and there are things that's going to shake you. And I, I have had wobbles at times, um, but because I'm in such a strong place, or I was in such a strong place, those wobbles haven't totally knocked me off. It's just, you know, a day wobble. Um, and then I'm like, no, Kadina, like, you know what you can do and really, you know, talk myself out or, you know, we've got our psychologist here, Lara. Um, Alan's literally at the end of a phone call so I can speak to him. Um, so I, I'm able to pull myself back in. So I'm in a really positive place. I'm I'm really content, really happy. And yeah, just uh, excited to be able to compete in this really good headspace. What does it mean putting on that British vest? Ah, it's amazing, you know, like just getting that selection. Like I, I, I'm British and, you know, really proud and, you know, being selected to represent your country, not many people get that opportunity. Um, so every time I get selected, you know, you don't take it for granted. Like, you know, I may have achieved what I've achieved, but you know, every time you get that selection, you are proud of it and you are proud to pull on that vest and go out there and represent your country. And I just love it. You know, I love the fans that get behind us. You know, I love the support you get. I love being able to inspire the next generation to come through. Um, and it just makes me super happy. We have great kit. <laughs> <laughs> it is a really good kit. We're really enjoying the kit this year. I think it's, uh, it's, it's up there with 2012, in my opinion, uh, Kadina. Just uh, last one. There were lots of talks about protests before the Olympics from athletes and things. Lots of things going on in the world. But it, it is right that the athletes can have a say before their events if they wish to. Yeah, definitely. I, I think, you know, as athletes, like when we are at our our competition, you know, on our stage, that's an opportunity for us to be able to have our voice, you know, because um, we don't always get the opportunity, you know, we're not always, you know, on the television or, you know, always, you know, somewhere where we, we can be seen and heard. So taking the opportunity to, you know, have our voice and say, you know, what we're passionate about, um, like for me, like it's something I would do, you know, because I want to be able to stand up for what I believe um, and having that opportunity it is great. And, and even if you don't want to take the opportunity, having the option to take that opportunity um, I think we should be allowed to have freedom of speech um, in our place of uh, sport. Kadena's in the 500 metre time trial final in the velodrome around 8am Friday morning UK time This is Tokyo time from Anything But Footy, the Olympic and Paralympic sport podcast Follow for more from the 2020 Games in 2021 Podcast Network. Hello, it is Ryan, and we could all use an extra bright spot in our day, couldn't we? Just to make up for things like sitting in traffic, doing the dishes, counting your steps, you know, all the mundane stuff. That is why I'm such a big fan of Chumba Casino. Chumba Casino has all your favorite social casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere with daily bonuses. That should brighten your day a little. Actually, a lot. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. That's ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. BTW. Void. We're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus.